This morning consists of going across to Tanks and Vessels, I think that's the name of the company, in Rosington, Doncaster, and having a look at some pre-fabricated second-hand stainless steel tanks. I've got my safety boots on, just need to put my hat on, got a tape measure, and I got on my game face. Head northeast on fairway towards West Hill Road, then turn left onto West Hill Road. Well, you could say it was a bit of a waste of time going to see tanks and vessels. Nearly £2,000 they wanted for a 1,400 litre open top tank and nearly £1,900 plus VAT for the same size but one with a manway in the top. No way, not happening. It'd be a lot cheaper for me to get them rolled and fabricated independently by, by somebody locally. So that's what we're going to do. So we get there, have a walk around the complex, and there are three tanks that I spot. Uh, two of them are open top, no lid. There's a quick drawing of it. And one of them has a manway, but with no lid, and some other bits and bobs attached to it. I'm sure you can see that. And for the open top the 1400 litres thereabouts the open top they wanted 1950 pounds plus that which is a ridiculous price and for the one with the manway 2950 pounds plus that you know I, I didn't pay that for the massive 13 barrel mash ton that we had made two years ago it's unbelievable so we're going to revert to plan a we're going to fabricate so today's maintenance task, now that we're at the unit, is to get this parastaltic pump flowing and pushing cleaner into the glass washer. So we've got this one, there is also, I can't remember, and there is also this one which we repaired or replaced the pipe in yesterday. So two pumps, one for detergent, one for rinse aid. I'm going to give them a good once over and make sure that these bad boys are doing what they're supposed to be doing because it's very important in the pub trade after your beer lines the next cleanest most hygienic thing in the building should be a glass washer <laughs> functioning glass washer with rinse aid and detergent and yeah proper drainage Woo managed to do a job that I've been meaning to do for a long time and that is clear up this yard a little bit so I've dug all of that rubble out of this drainage area from when I patched up that brickwork up there, you see. So we've opened the little, there's a tiny little drain down there, look, can you see it? Just there. 
So that's where all of the rainwater and everything goes. I still need to get in the drain proper and dig out a little bit more of the silt and whatever else has found its way in. But I've took four or five good piles of it out and that's the timber that I've got left to get rid of in that. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased it's come up reasonably well. It's another job off the list. So it is Friday and it is time to pick the kids up. So I'm gonna shoot off home. Gemma's gonna watch them this evening and I'm allowed to come out and have a few beers. So I'm gonna end the vlog here guys and we'll see you tomorrow with a Saturday edition. Don't know what I'm gonna be doing though because Gemma's got to work tomorrow too at the pub. So if I can't get into work, that means I will be laden with children. So it might be another one of them. We shall see. See you tomorrow.